Uh, good morning everybody. Okay, it's testing panel time. We've got a standard 325 watt monocrystalline solar panel just sitting on the table. This is, we're not testing output here, we're testing for shading. And uh, we're going to be testing against a 315 watt split cell uh, split technology solar panel okay and that's our shades here these bits are okay so what we're going to do is shade each panel exactly the same way um, I've got a load on here now that's not really important uh, other than for, to bring the volts of the panels down uh, the load's not going to change between each panel okay you can see the loads there I've got this camera set up and uh, when I plug this in to over there and then we're going to do some shading and uh, see what happens to the different panels so first one we're going to be testing is this one here on the back there my wife's going to shade it and I'm going to show her shading it and this camera is going to be recording and hearing me about everything that goes on okay all right I'll be back in a minute a blanket to put over this or a sheet what we're going to be looking at uh, let's get out of here Okay, what we're going to be looking at is panel volts at the top, okay? Don't worry about the output in, because we've only got a small load on. Don't worry about amps. We're looking at what happens to panel volts in shading. Now, you can see there it's all covered up, okay? But let's have another quick look under here. All right. So, why is panel volts... Um, due to shading why is it uh, so important in uh, solar systems well most solar systems are in big long strings and if you get shade on one panel um, what it can do whether it's a um, a shade from a pass from a from a tree as the day moves along um, or a, a a flying elephant poops on your panel or whatever all right it drops that panel volts down and that brings your whole strings overall voltage down okay and that's the whole idea behind these split cell split panel technology so we're gonna like I say we've got the uh, the 325 watt monocrystalline plugged in it's not about load this is all about volts there's a quick look at that okay I can't see the screen now if you can put some shade on half of that make sure you go right to the middle count the cells and go to the middle okay now you can see we've got the middle of the panel shaded now she's going to shade the other end all right and you can see the the panel volts have dropped right down to 12.49 all right they're not doing anything okay absolutely nothing okay can you lift those off just one at a time okay stop all right now you can see she's just lifted one off not even half the panels 
exposed. Okay, hang on. Now, if you can lift the other one off, please. All right. Okay, so that just killed your whole solar output for the day. And that was only half the panel shaded. Okay, so I'm going to turn the camera off. All right, I'm going to unplug this one and plug that other one in. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to shade half the panel and uh, come back and have a look at the vaults. Okay, so we left this all running so you could see what was going on. Okay, yep, put my hand there. All right. So there's the uh, panel vault for this one. And currently there's, you know, it's trying to pick the batteries back up again. Um, it's capable of producing a lot more than that, but we're looking at panel vaults today, okay? Very important. Now that is a smaller panel. That's 315 against the 325. All right, I'll walk around here. My wife shaded the half of that panel. Let's go have a look at string vaults. Now it's up and down with the sun. Okay. But you haven't lost your whole string. Okay, so what does that mean? Um, that means at the end of the day, even though that's a smaller panel, um, in shaded conditions, that panel would work a damn lot better than that panel on a, on a house roof or um, even on a camper trailer or a caravan. If you've got, when the sun comes around and it shades. Yeah, sorry love, you can put that down now. Thank you for your help. Everyone thanks Siggy for her help. Um, so what does that mean? Well, that means at the end of the day, all right, at the end of the day, you're going to get a lot more solar than you would if you just had a single mono panel with shade or even a string of mono panels with shade. Um, so like I said before, they reckon these were better than sliced bread. And I, my reply to that, well, I always like to slice my own bread. I just did okay we've done the test um, you can take out of it what you want to take out of it me I'm gonna take more power out over size all right that's a lot bigger panel as well but this one at the end of the day with shaded effects will produce a lot more power than a string of those ones will um, only putting out you know 12 volts so um, there it is, people. That's the video. <coughs> um, like I said, we're not looking at output. We were only looking at, at voltages. And we did have a load on. We got uh, a fan, a fan, a charger. Um, uh, both the fridge and freezer are on. They're set really high. So both of those are running. Um, we put a pretty good load, a pretty good load on the system. Uh, and that was just mainly to um, put, the, put the voltages under load, not open circuit voltages. All right. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. It took a lot to set up. I had to drag the trailer down here, park it next to me wood, and uh, set everything up. And uh, of course we, Got our chairs out, we may as well sit down and have breathers. And I think I think that proved itself right there and then. But you make up your own mind. Alright. Enjoy life. Keep safe. Bye for now.